Well, good evening. Good to be back. Had a lot of rain here. Man, is it wet. Got a question for everybody. What have you heard about Jesus? If somebody was to ask you, what have you heard about Jesus? Well, there was a scripture I was reading in here in Mark chapter 6. In verse 54 and 55. Now, Jesus is in the conversation here. And um, I want to read 54. And when they were come out of the ship straightway, they knew him. And ran th through that whole region round about and began to carry about in beds those that were sick where they heard he was. Now, you know, somebody must have broadcasted that Jesus was going to come that way and that Jesus was going to simply be in that area and it pays to realize that he was heard about. This is what I wrote down. What have you heard about Jesus? The ones that heard affected others. Now let me go back and read verse 54 again. And when they were come out of the ship, straightway they knew him and ran through that whole region round about and began to carry about in beds those that were sick where they heard he was. Somebody broadcasted the fact that Jesus was going to come and these people was going to take advantage of Jesus when they were come out of the ship straightway they knew him they they knew the lord they knew of his power they knew of his ability they knew of his love they knew of his concern i mean they knew him, and they knew him very well, and ran through that whole region round about and began to carry about in beds those that were sick. And you know, very few people do you find that really cares about the sick. Very, very few that I meet really care about the sick. They don't think about the sick. The sick is not their priority. Where they heard he was. They wanted to get to Jesus, but now the ones that heard affected others. Now, these ones that heard could have left them sick folks back at the house. They didn't have to go and run to get them people in the beds to go and take them to Jesus. They could have just pretended they didn't really hear, but they felt it was important enough to go and get the people that could get benefit from Jesus. But over in the book of Mark chapter 7, there's some verses that we find over here in verses 25 and 26 of Mark chapter 7. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. This lady had a daughter 
And according to this right here, whose young daughter had an unclean spirit, heard of him. How do you suppose that that lady heard of Jesus? How do you think? You think that was just coincidence that this lady had heard about Jesus? No, I think that it means a little bit more than just hearing because it had been one thing to hear. And then she came and fell at his feet. That was a sign of honor right there. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. That was where she was from. The woman was a Greek. So that lets you know that this woman here was a more than likely a Gentile. It gives the place of where she was from. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Now, you know what? This lady here was informed. This lady must have heard something because she was informed that this Jesus was nearby. And she acted on her need. Her need was not her own. Her need was her daughter. You know, we'll do a lot for our family and our friends and our neighbors and co-workers. But our family takes first priority. This lady was informed. She acted on her need. You know what that tells me? She must have believed. You think that maybe she put her faith in a lot of other stuff? The Bible says that, that she came and came and fell at his feet. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. This woman knew her heritage. Her heritage was a Gentile. Did she have any right to come to the king of kings to come and have healing for her daughter? Let me ask you a question. What have you heard about Jesus? What have you heard? Has your life affected others around you? You know, if I was a drop dead today, would my life have affected others? You know, they're having a funeral on TV right now of this Mr. George Floyd. And no doubt everything that was wrong that happened was done was a tragic tragedy of justice. There was no reason for it. I don't condone nothing like that. But you know what? They're out there giving a respect to a man. But had that man would have just died on his own, do you think they would have had all the TV and promotion and all of that had the man just died in a hospital, died right by himself. Has your life affected others around you? Let me ask you another question. Do others deserve to hear? Does other people deserve to hear? Did he save you to just make you content to be hush hush did he save you to remain hush hush I don't think so he didn't save me to stay hush hush 
has the Lord changed you? He changed this lady here. He changed this lady. But matter of fact, in verse 29, And he said unto her, For this saying, Go thy way, the devil was gone out of thy daughter. See, she deserved more than just a little bit of crumbs. Do you have something to share to someone else? You know, that's the question that I think that we all ought to ask ourselves today. Do we have something to share? Evidently, somebody had told this lady of where Jesus was going to be. Somebody spoke in Mark chapter 5, over here where we was just at. The ones that heard affected others. Is your life affecting others? That's the million-dollar question. Thank y'all for listening.